Hello! Uh, another video -y thing. Um, just wanted to have a bit of a fiddle about talking about um, Kickstarter versus retail. Um, mainly in terms of what what is better when you become a main mainstream um, miniatures um, producer um, distributor sort of thing um, so retail wise you've got like your games workshop you've got your privateer press you've got your um, I'm trying to look what I've got um, your um, uh, your Warlord games and the like, um, weird to a greater or less extent. Um, all of them just go through retail where they send them to a proper store, you know, one of their own, or to a independent one. Um, games Workshops obviously got their own, but they also go to independent retailers and sell their stuff that way. Um, then you've got the other side of the thing where you've got your Mantic, you've got your Megacon games, you've got um, kind of in the middle with Cool or Not Mini because they do both. Um, oh, Fighting Zero is not Cool or Not Mini. Hmm. So, there's that. Um, so, retail. Real still stuff's not cheap. I'm sure we're all we're all aware. Um, price hasn't really been much of an argument for many years because a lot of stuff has kind of come to the same sort of level. You've got your skirmish games where yes, they cost a lot, but you don't need much. Or if you get a bit, you can chop and change what sort of you know customize what you. A squad's going to be, what units you're going to have in your squad, what me gang members you're going to have, and so on and so forth. So, you know, you've got options that way. Um, but if you, but Kickstarter-wise, um, Kickstarter it's cheaper because it's gone through Kickstarter first, so the um, uh, money for actually the moulding of the miniatures, you know, the casting machinery and computers and everything else or however it's done um, it's paid through Kickstarter and that way um, do, doing it through Wetel you annoy people because it costs more but if you do it through Kickstarter you annoy mainly the retailers because everyone's got their stuff through Kickstarter so no one's gonna buy your stuff or people will buy your stuff but you have to really wait and buy then no one's going to play it or it's going to pick up at whatever time, maybe. So, I don't know which one's better. I mean, I kept going, I, I kept going Mantic's better because, you know, it's cheaper, but nowhere near where I know, apart from um, Mantic Gremlin Games in Chesterfield, um, will stock Mantic stuff unless it's um, The Walking Dead. Anything Walking Dead, every, everyone's great to stock. Anything Dead Zone, Kings of War, um, Dreadbolt, no one will care about because everything's gone through Kickstarter. I mean, it weren't so bad with Dreadball because people kept picking things up, but I went to one place in Mansfield that's, that I know. Um, I... I asked the bloke, um, can you get me some Dead Zone stuff in? He said, don't make me order so stuff from Mantic. And it's and it's mainly because of Kickstarter. Because everyone's got this stuff, so why the hell should I buy from retailer? Um, having said that, I, I've i never done bought into any of the Mantic Kickstarter. So anything that I've been interested in, I've just gone through direct. Um, or the open day. The open day is not bad, but again, it's the same thing. You get the stuff, why would I buy from retailer? But again, you could argue that from um, Game Workshop's game day. So, yeah. Um, also, going through it through retail, um, you have more chance of the retailers 
demoing your game isn't really wanting people to, you know, play play the games. Um, 40k 8th edition. Um, whether you like where it's going or not, you know, retailers will be happy to demo it because it's there for them to sell to you. And people will buy it. Um, so that's that's the thing. On the one side you've got Kickstarter, which when it's done, stuff normally is cheaper. Some stuff isn't, but that's just because of the quality, the design and whatnot. Perhaps, perhaps the um, the studio or the company or whatnot who's making them's small, you know, that tiny. So maybe maybe that's why it costs a bit, but you are getting a discount through Kickstarter. Um, you go through retail, it costs more, but you have more chance of pe possibly people playing it and the retailer actually stocking it. So you've got to look at it, look at it through that end. Um, so, yeah. I don't really know where, where I was going with this video. It's just a short one of... You know, I just wanted to to blab that out there of the chicken and the egg effect which one's better um, chicken or chips um, che cheese or chalk I don't know why you'd want to eat chalk but there you go that's 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 a thing um, and it's also um, what the game is based on I suppose there's another point um, the Alien vs Predator game, that went through Kickstarter, which, um, yeah, that's that's another downside to Kickstarter. If your Kickstarter goes horribly bad, which, as far as, I can, as I'm concerned, what I've seen, because I didn't back that one, oh, <laughs> that is, that's so bad, um, Prodos has had to sell that off to Cool or Not Mini, um, which, yeah... Um, from what I can what I can tell, the game's not bad. It's just the company did did not has not done well with that. And the company, oh dear, that that's all I can say to that. Oh dear. Um, but again, the same with the same with retail. If the company does not know what it's doing, then it will only be stocked so far. I mean, Guild Ball is still going. But it's slowing on its um, releases, and it's slowing so quickly. It's the same thing with um, Rune Wars, the miniatures game. It's an interesting thing. Um, I can see it trying to occupy the space where um, um, Age of Sigmar left. You, you know, where one rate the edition people still play it, but um, it's the mass army fantasy game. Um, Age of Sigmar doesn't really do that. Um, Warhammer 8th edition still does, and I know people still play it. Um, but you've got Rune Wars that's trying to do it, you've got Kings of War which trying to do it, and both of them trying to do different things. Um, but with doing it retail, that Rune Wars is doing it, that the releases are so slow. Um, I think that's what's putting people off. But I could be wrong about that. Um, yeah, if you do it through Kickstarter, really, when it's released, stuff might be released slow, but you know it's coming. Um, if it's just coming through retailer, you don't know when it's going to co be coming. It might be June sometime. Any time during June, or it might be pushed back. Nobody knows, apart from them selling it, obviously. Um, so there you go. Um, could I buy? Could it? Could I be rambling? Could I be making this up? Um, considering I don't know the ins and outs of everything, maybe. But that's just my my perspective on things. I mean. <sighs> Either way is viable. It's just, do you want it to sell it on retailer? Um, because doing it through Kickstarter, chances are you've got less chance of going through kick through retailer unless it's online. Because having it brick and mortar shop, 
you've got less chance as far as I can see. You've got way, way less chance of having it um, stock because everyone's got their stuff. But again, that's just that's just my thoughts on it. So goodbye for now. And that's just a little little thing. So put your put your thoughts in the questions down below on what you think. And that's me. Goodbye for now.